the beautiful lobby of the Dream Castle. Morning, Disney! Hi! Hello! I'm far too old for this shit. <laughs> I wanna shoot That's gonna turn your poo blue. Welcome to a new Disneyland Paris vlog. It's about half past seven a.m. and we're up. <laughs> we're up. We're showered. We're dressed, and we are heading down to meet everyone for breakfast, which is included with this hotel, the Dream Castle. Um, so the Disney wives are treating this like a Florida holiday. So they want to be there for park opening, and they want to be there for park closing. So uh, we reluctantly agreed to do it today. So we're bog-eyed. We didn't get to bed till about half eleven, but uh, let the chaos commence. Are you ready? Just about. Feel like a zombie though. Very nice corridors on this hotel. Very nice. Very nice. Everybody wanted to know what the corridors are like. Yes, they are very nice actually. It's one of the nicest corridors I've ever seen in a Disney uh, hotel. I know it's not a really a the Disney rooms hotel. are nice as well. Yeah, and the smell. Mm. It's you get it's even more potent than the Disney hotel. No, it's not. When you, walk in, when you walk into the foyer, it smells like a Disney hotel, yeah. but you only pump it really strong into the porch bit. The main area of the hotel, the main lobby, you can't really smell it well, in I there. Well, I can smell it here. Yeah, very, very hinted, but it's, it's very really strong. potent when you walk through the door. So we're meeting everybody at 8 o'clock. The girls wanted to do, um, like crack it on, like rope as drop. if it's Florida. We had rope drop my ass. I'm not doing that. Um, we said we'll do it on the first day, and then we will... Um, have a more of a chill time. So after we've, so this afternoon we've got Pims, and then we think we're gonna call it a day after Pims. Probably maybe gonna come back here, Lou's gonna get some editing done, have a chill in the bar, and then go in the jacuzzi possibly. The beautiful lobby of the Dream Castle. It's very busy down there already. Looks like some schools maybe are staying here. Absolutely love this lobby. So good. Well, last night the bar was rammed. So we have this to grab us drinks here and then yeah. sit over there. Okay, we behind us. Bookcase. Yeah. So uh, this is the first time we've actually been into the restaurant. It's downstairs. It's still dark outside, as you can see. Yeah, still dark outside. We must be mad. We must be. Nick's the first one back with uh, breakfast. I decided to have a light breakfast because we've got pims this afternoon. What the frick is that sausage? Paprika sausage. Mm. Paprika? Yeah. Mm. And who's the last to be down after getting us all up? The wives. The wives are not here. Can we fall in? What time do you call this? Oh, we nearly had a small disaster. All my... that fuss about getting here today for My phone time hasn't changed, so my alarm wasn't going off on time. So I was. But music's all right, we're here. Well, that's iPhone's for you, isn't it? Right, we're gonna go get ready, but Nick's gonna vlog the breakfast so you can see what it is in the Dream Castle. So as you come in the door over there and you turn left, um, you basically have three coffee machines, and then in this area you have fruit and yogurt, and there's a Nutella dispenser. Uh, it's quite disappointing that they have no pancakes or waffles, but you've got milk and fresh fruit and cereal, popcorn, you've got a load of yogurts, different type of flavoured yogurts, including a mango one, which is very nice. Uh, they've already got the coolie in. You've got your, um, your condiments for your cereals. You've got cheeses and hams here. And then you've got a salad bar. Why on earth anybody has a salad for breakfast? I have no idea. Then you've got um, egg and bacon. The bacon, I must say, is not very nice. It's very cold and very crispy, like American bacon. This side, you've got um, beans. I'll go around the back so I'm not disturbing anybody. And then you've got potatoes, veal and paprika sausages, and mushrooms, and then for some reason, rice. And then this section here, you've got all the danishes, like panna chocolates, croissants, baguettes, preserves, um, some kind of loaf, lots of flies flying around as well. Um, like a panettone, more cereals, more milk, more coffee. I could have eaten more, but I'm saving myself for Disney snacks. Yeah, we've kind of not stuffed ourselves. And then kind of that's it. And then the, the seating area is absolutely massive. So it goes right down there, and all the way through here, right back to the door. Right, are we ready for going to get changed? Get ready. So yesterday, we were out on that pool deck. Um, we walked down, I think we walked down some steps or we walked through the bar. So as you come into the restaurant area, when we go to the window, so over there is where the, the outdoor pool is, and there's like different levels of the gardens and things like that. It's really nice here in summer. 
The build is very chic and very posh. This is kind of like the entrance area when you go into the restaurant, which is called Le Bussec Gourmand. And then you've got another restaurant here called the Rotisserie. I presume that's chicken or something. And a few amusement machines, and then you walk back up here, up to the main reception area, and then on the left is where the lifts are. Nice little relaxing chairs on the mid-terrace. Oh, I'm knackered. And then back to the bar that we spent an hour in last night. Just catching up on our day and just chilling. And uh, we sat in front of the bookcase over there, near the window. And then here, during the day, they have crepes with different flavours and this is the price list. Pretty cheap actually compared to um, what you would expect. And then Lee's, as he said, he's just gone to check the bus timetable. It's definitely not walking today because he absolutely knackered us yesterday. So buses are every 20 to 25 minutes throughout the day. There we go, so 9.24, 9.39, 9.54 and the next bus arrives in six minutes. Looking beautiful this morning. Beautiful. Back on this lovely corridor. Oh my God, here we go again. Um, we are heading down for the bus now. Still not walk up yet, I don't think. Well, uh, yeah, she's talking about bleeding corridor. <laughs> I'll have a nice cafe au lait when we get to Disneyland Paris. Oh, those, what food? I'm not after what we've just eaten. Those cafe au lait in Disneyland Paris down Main Street, so good. They are delicious. Apparently it's like camp coffee. we would never heard of it. No, it's a new thing. Let us know if you've heard of camp coffee. Well, it's not a new thing. It's new to us. New to us. Tracy told us about it. And uh, none of us had heard of it apart from Vicky, so it is a thing. Nice view from outside. Looks a bit like Buckingham Palace, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. what I thought. Nice corridors, though. Mm -hmm. Um, we're all stood waiting for the bus. Um, are we in the right place actually? It comes in this way, doesn't it? Over there, it comes in and turns around in this section, and then all the stops are on this side. There's like four doors on it, so. Um, You've got them in the right place. It's a bit of a cube, so. Yeah. Got the thermals on. Me, me thermal socks. Oh, I've give over a pair of you. Yeah. Look at Faith. We only really brought thermal socks. Faith's not bothered with any kind of coat. Hardcore. I've got woolly inside. Oh, have you? It's well, nice I've just got, I've just got me. Um, my, my big boots on. The bus is finally here, it's about 10 minutes late and it looks pretty full already. What? Ding ding! Ding ding! What the hell? Oh! Oh, what the hell? We're nowhere near. I'm take lens off camera. Shit. You alright there, Nick? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm literally, if you look at my legs, are actually swinging. <laughs> it's not as packed as last night, but it is very full still. Right, we've arrived. So it, it's definitely stop I. So, like I said last night on the last vlog, if you Google it, it always says stop for bus number 34. That is not there. correct. Always I. It's I. I remember it from last time, but um, what does it say on the bus front? There's no number, is there? But if you just look for the bus with all the logos on and it tells you and rotates on the front that it's all the partner hotels. There you go. Camp and Isle, B&B, then it'll say Dreamcastle Explorers, etc. Morning, Disney! Please, please tired. I'm, I'm alright now. It's not too cold actually, is it? No, it's not really cold. It's, quite, it's nice and fresh. Are you glad you bought your thermals? Yeah, actually, I am glad because we've used them already. Back well, that's home. true. That's worth it for that, but not for here. Yeah. Kind of quiet this morning. We're heading straight down and onto Discoveryland. So as we came into the entrance, the queue was a mile long, going back to like the fountains almost. So as usual, we went into the right-hand uh, lane and we, they just let us through. It's the annual pass entrance, but these guys use through. their tickets on it, so it's not limited just annual pass. We just got in and just were straight in. Queues, didn't we? I cannot believe the Disney wives are having cake pops 10 minutes after we've just left and had breakfast. Oh my god, look at that fudge. I mean, I couldn't eat it, I'm absolutely stuffed, but... Oh, mini cake pop. Are you sharing one or having one each? Sharing. Well, you just had breakfast really, haven't you? I only had a bowl of cornflakes. Um, oh, what did Emma have? Uh, oh, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, some toast, a pan of chocolate. I am not eating this right this second, but we're in Disney, so... You don't have to justify yourself. I'm not, I'm going to eat we're it. On I've already holiday. said, oh my god, Emma's having a cake pop straight after breakfast. Nothing wrong with that. Mm, no, I'm not, not keen not on that. Not man. No. Not so man. Beautiful. Yeah, they're better. Oh, the black ones are better. Can you get them? I should get yours. I need to lead us. Cake pop, are you going to eat that or are you saving it? Well, I better let him have the first bite on it. Why don't you have a first bite with that? Yeah, go on. Nibble. Right, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Right, we're 
off to see the dragon. I can already see his eyes or her eyes, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. glass wands you buy the wand and then you choose which you want to fill it with and then uh, they end up looking like that 49.99 for the wands Disney wish baubles not seen that film yet need to see that when it's on Disney plus what do you think this is gingerbread scented candle I've just read it uh, let me have a smell uh, oh, pop, take it off for me Smell. It's not the greatest gingerbread smell. Mm, it smells sweet. It smells like, like really sweet, sweet it's like the kind perfumey. Of, it's the smell that you like, though. Mm. Cookies and Ben Lurie. Bit of a grim day at the moment. A lot quieter than last time we were in. But it's not cold, that's the best thing. Oh, is your favourite ride down there, Nick? What? Peter pa uh, um, Pinocchio White. and Snow White, Nick's favourite oh, ride. I'm gonna do that, I love it. So, if you didn't know, this is the upstairs of the castle where you can come and have a look around. You just walk up those stairs down there and then you can go outside at the top there. When I see the spinning wheel, it makes me want to watch Once Upon a Time again. If you've never seen that series, you must watch it. It's like an adult fairy tale. Adult Disney. Adult Disney, yeah. And it's like all the all the fairy tale stories, but in adult form. And there's Rumpelstiltskin in it, and it's a real, it's a, like a real evil shit, really, isn't it? Come on, Vicky. Vicky pulls this. Come on, Vicky. Right, B.A. Baracus. <laughs> Go on. Oh, 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 oh no. Yeah. Not today. I wish that cast member in the booth that's watching it just push that. that button. Go on, Emma. Two is as good as one. Yes, no, no, <laughs> no. This is actually one of Nick's favourite rides, Snow White. 45 minutes. 45 minute wait? 45 minutes. Um, I could watch movie in that time. I think there should be a cast member on the box at the front turning the wheel. Yeah, because it's not no 45 way it's minutes. Five. We're, we're 10, minutes, 10 minutes or so. Emma's been timing the queue ride and it's we're six minutes. About seven minutes, it's 45 minutes yeah. outside. So it's six to a carriage on these. Yes. So we'll have to have two carriages. I love the UV light so it brings all the colours and the vibrancy. you get to look around more so you can see that the wall there blends into the picture. Never seen that before. Well we have obviously but we've never noticed. Woo! Here we go. Look at the size of Mini. That won't fit in your case. No. How much? Really hell, it's almost as big as Mickey. Yeah, it's like as tall as you. You could sleep with that one, yeah? I have a Mickey this size. This is all the 2024 designs. I'm not sure I'm over keen on it. It's a bit bright and retro, but it's alright, but uh, Got all the uh, pins and on all the uh, hoodies and stuff. Little t shirt. What are you doing, Nick? I'm, I took a picture of that. Yeah. And then I'm going to put some sunglasses on. You know, like, the ones that Emma lost. Like dropping off. No. Falling off. That one picked him up from the ride. I oh, see. So. 
<laughs> this hat matches Vicky's Crocs, what she's got, no. winter Crocs. <laughs> Looks like she's gonna put a motorbike helmet on. <laughs> right, we're back near Small World, and they've got food booths now. We've never seen. Yeah. We've never seen food booths. Oh, a crepe. Oh no, it's not. It's one of. It's then that we have that that uh, bulgur wheat one. Yeah. I might be able to squeeze a crepe in actually. Crepe and a coffee or something. Yeah, buckwheat, buckwheat ham and cheese. We had yeah. that when we were in uh, Walt Disney Studio. Five yeah. euros, not bad actually. And uh, what's oh this? Tata filet. Tata filet. Oh, it stinks. Uh, you not like the smell of it? Oh, it's I don't delicious. Like cheese. It's delicious. Oh god, it does smell waffles over there. What? <laughs> It's a um, Pretzels there by the looks of it. Are you having some? Do you want to share one? No, I don't. I want a crepe if I want anything. Well, we might as well do Small World while we're here. The clock's not ticking. Maybe batteries have gone. Here we go. We're doing all the great rides so far this morning, aren't we? All the easy ones. Um, Emma needs to get her glasses out. Oh yeah, she does, yeah. <laughs> It's on the Smells just too good not to get. Yeah, we'll share one. Share it. Yeah. Uh, See if it's as good as we remember. It's a tiny uh, portion. It tastes more bacon than it has smoky bacon. The portion sizes have definitely shrunk. We're just having a little chill because we've been on so many thrill rides so far. <laughs> we're having a, a cafe or lay stop. I'll show you what they've got a pizzeria bell not. They have Lady in the Tramp spaghetti, which looks nice. A pizza, Mickey pepperoni, and a lasagna. Right, the temperature's dropped a little bit now. People are starting to put hats on. I bring mine out, so never mind. Um, we just had a little bit to eat, and I don't know if I can face Space Mountain now. These guys are going to go on it, or Hyperspace Mountain, should I say? So we'll see what it's like when we get there. But um, can I always go on the Arbitron instead? No, thanks. We um, we're going to do Buzz as well, but I don't know whether these guys are going to go on that first. But we'll see when we get there. Right, we're going to do Buzz first. Give my stomach chance to say who's going to win. Who's going to win? Buzz. Oh, not me. No. Emma's very confident in Buzz, aren't you? Yeah, I will win. Right, we're almost at the uh, the ride entrance, so we're split into two groups because Faith and um, uh, Tracy have got a priority a priority access card. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you can use you can take one person on. Uh, sorry, four people on with the person that the cars are signed to. So we've gone on and, we're gonna, and then the other guys are going to go on and Neil's going to swap, do like swap with, with, uh, with Faye. So um, who's going to win? Rub 
rubbish, I need rubbish. <laughs> oh, I'm vlogging, you see. Oh, right, yeah. All three seconds. I quite like those cups to infinity and beyond. And it's got a, um, like a sippy place to sip out of. And it can hook onto your bags as well with a little clip. Right, so uh, the wives and Faith have gone back on the um, ride. So the pass that um, Tracy and Faith have is a pri what's called priority, access. priority access pass, and you had to sign up for it back at home. Online, yeah. Yeah, and submit your documentation. Yeah, yeah and a photo. Um, you apply online, apply your documentation, and photo, and then when you arrive here, you have to take your documentation and proof of identification to a ticket office, yeah. and they'll give you a card. Yeah. And then that allows you to walk into the Premier Access queue for up to four people, plus yeah. the person um, whose the pass is allocated to. Yeah. And to be fair, that's the first time that you've had to use it, yeah. wasn't it? So far, I've just been walk off. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matches your top almost as well. Yeah. <laughs> What's Emma got to set for herself? I won. What did you get? 127. I think I've got 121,000. I can't remember. 127,400. I mean, Vicky's Ask just. Vicky, what she even... got? I don't even know what I got, it was that bad. <laughs> what was it? I wasn't bothered. I'm going to have to bring it up, I'm sorry. 92,000 I got. Uh -huh. 18300. She blamed the 18,000? That's what I What were you doing? Finish, the point's not working very well. She said she blamed it on the gun. 7,500 I got. That's good, that's good, that's good faith. That was rubbish. Time for Hyperspace Mountain now. <laughs> Amazing. You like it? Oh, it throws you around, but yeah, amazing. You're getting far too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head would just boom, I'm back at seat like that. In the end, I had to kind of like lean forward and then kind of use my own motion to keep my head still because it banged around too much. Stick to small world from now on. And the harness came down mid-ride and crushed me even more. So when I got off and it stopped in the dark at the end for about a couple of minutes and it was just pitch black and I was like, I want to get off, I want to get off. Oh, should we do our topi to calm you down? Yeah. Right, we're in the Q4, Utopia. 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 And Utopia. I'm going to drive for a change. Go on the lane. It'll be great yeah. driving for a change. Make sure Vicky's at the back, because we know she's like to drive in. Oh no, you're at front, so you can't run into us. She just had a car repaired. Imagine sure I can't talk. <laughs> what the hell's this? I needed some at Disney on my back, so I got that while you were. You've been in shot while I've been. While you were on Space Mountain, yeah. Did you use your annual pass? Yeah. How much did you get it for? Five euros, 35. I'll let you off then. So we've both got the uh, the teal aqua colour. Let me get myself comfy. Ah. Ah. Just waiting for Tracy and Faith to get on. Ah, dear me. Where's the big seatbelt? Oh, is it? Right, hold on. These huge long seatbelts here, and then you just hook them on the things at the side. Bye! Bye. Right, oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Big what go? What have you done? Oh, for God's sake, this is what happens when you drive. <laughs> it won't you go. broke it. Oh, there we go. Did it just stop? Yeah. Ugh. I think we've got a faulty car. Oh, for God's sake, we always get the next one. Oh, no, we're going again. We always get the shit, the shit car. I think it might have just been my driving, to be fair. Well, probably, yeah. It usually is. There's Neil and Emma. Come on, get us moving, we're not moving. It's like a Nana Sunday. I messed it up by stopping. Stop well, Faith, Faith and um, and Tracy have gone the weight distance. There's Vicky. Hey, I like this driving park. Oh, God, we're going so slow. I could run faster. Surely you can make it go a bit faster. Is your foot flat? Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. Fancy driver. It's like when Mark were driving, wasn't it? You're like, this book here. Says you. It's like when Mark were driving, it won't go any faster. I'm actually surprised you're keeping it in centre, to be honest. So apparently these things are lawnmower engines. We watched it on Disney Plus in one of the rides, and it's an adapted um, lawnmower engine, and it's got the gear tied into the foot where you actually squeeze the, the handbrake normally on the bars, but then wire that into the foot pedal. So it goes and then stops when you let go. Ooh, oh, big hill. Don't bump into corner. Oh yeah, we're picking up speed now. Oh my god. Oh, you screwed it up oh, again. No. It stopped itself. You need I must to be going too fast. It must have like a brake, like an auto. No, what it is, you're hitting, the, you're hitting the side barrier, and the wheels are used to acting as a brake. 
So we're going, why do I love this ride? We're going I don't really care about speed in, in, in uh, Florida, but here and in Disneyland California, California. I love it. California was great, wasn't it? Because yeah. we, were, we, we were sat in it for about half an hour in the sun and we were we were baking and roasting red hot and then when we got off because it had broke down one of the cars they gave us all the fast pass. It's weird, there. it's like Autopia, yay! Speedway, meh, meh. Well they've made it shorter in Florida, haven't they? For Tron. This is how slow we're going. <laughs> There's nobody. Where is everybody? There's nobody here. It's like, it's just us. Even down there there's nobody. Nobody around. Not my fault, I've got my foot to the floor. Right, there's a hill coming, don't screw it up. Right, let's get around this hill. Look Just out. Don't Stop hit it. the centre. Oh. Little turns, little turns. <laughs> little turns, not too much, not too much. Oh, they're there, they're there. They're there, go on, catch them up. <laughs> At this rate, Vicky will be catching us. Oh, we're queuing now. <laughs> Oopsies. Stop. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Take your foot off. <laughs> Where's Vicky? She'll be coming up behind us. Any sign of her? No, no. Ages, yeah. No, she's probably written the car off. She's a, uh, she's approaching a bit fast. Hold on, hold on. Prepare for a bump. <laughs> What's she doing? Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my good Christ! <laughs> That's what her usual driving's like. Yeah. That's why she wrote her Range Rover off. Go on, give him a little nudge. Go on, a little, a little nudge, a little more, and again, and again, and again. again hold we're on. pushing them, we're pushing them both here. We're not bumping them, you're just pushing them. Go on. Can't. Oh, oh, she's go. got a foot off the Oh! Oh! Wally. Time for filler magic. In French. We oui. come in. It's great to Ready? see you. Now it's time to what? choose a roll and move the show. Oh yeah. It's nice across. to sit down. So I might have a nap actually. I'm a little bit peckish actually. We've got three hours right, until we go to Pim's restaurant uh, later done. on. I'm a bit stuck with that tartar flight. I might have a little snack when I'm going out. I think we're like coffee that, that curdled the cheese on the tartar flight. I need a snack. Don't forget the orchestra. And don't touch my pack. We differ on this opinion. I prefer that one to what? Florida. The, the shaking of the chairs is much That's better. That's good. And the screens are so much brighter. Yeah, but the screen is smaller here. You get no smaller. smells and you don't get any spray and water. Yeah. And you don't get Mickey Mouse impaled into the back cinema at the Donald end as Duff. well. Uh, Donald Duck, yeah. Yeah, so I prefer France. Nick prefers Florida. There's elements I like of both, but it misses the, th the 4D effect, like the smell of the apple pie. You don't get that here. Right, we're going to do Star Tours. Um, these guys have never done it before. Well, obviously they've never done it because they've never been, but um, we're going to give it a go. So even though the wait time's only five minutes, these guys have got the, um, the disability pass, so we're going to go with these. Tracy and Lee don't want to do it, so they're going to sit off. So as Lee said earlier, you get um, one person who the pass is allocated to it, and then four people can follow them. The downside of doing Premier Access or the um, Disability Access Pass is you get to miss all this and a bit of the theme in there you don't get to speak to well you don't get to speak to him anyway but you don't get to see C3PO properly but you get to skip the queue so but for five minutes it's worth it I guess so it said the standby was five minutes there's no way it's about ten minutes based on that but um, obviously they put in the theme in, in the waiting areas to entertain the guests we've just literally skipped it all and we're right at the front now so this is one of the very few rides in um, in Paris that is not in English in any way. A lot of people said that they do do an English one, but we've never seen it. So if I'm wrong on that, then let us know in the comments below.
I love how the story isn't that quite dynamic. Let me just put my glasses away. You get the um, you get like this starting sequence. It's all like little modular stories, but they're all made to clip together, so each ride is completely unique and different. Neil's just told me that he's got one of these at home. Full-sized helmet for the, um, the staff. Tie fighters, I think they are. Um, it's a shame it's not got like the radio things in it as well. But um, I can just imagine Neil in them. Have you got any other memorabilia you want to share with us, Neil? You got? Have you got the full um, Stormtrooper outfit yet? Not yet. I'd love one. Seventy percent off. It's really good. Yeah, but seventy percent, and then I can get you another fifteen off that as well. But you know why I don't like it? That'd be about ten dollars. I don't like Star Wars. Is it Star Wars? Oh, it's that new series, isn't it? Uh, I've never seen yeah. it. I can't remember. I've seen it. So I Lee don't like Star Wars, I just don't know it. Lee made me watch it. Yeah, but you might actually miss the opportunity. You should buy it now. I were almost tempted with it. 70% like like off and then another 15. I like the colour. Is that what it is? 27? And then another 15 off that? Madness. Yeah. Yeah. So like really like Imagine the, the collector's value. You could sell that on eBay, yeah. Yeah, you could. Off. You could sell that for 80 on eBay. Nah. Get too late. <laughs> the thing is, I would use it for this week and I'd never use it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would never use them anyway. Yeah, I, really, I really like that one. But some of the sales that are on at the minute are massive. Like, we saw a, we saw somewhere in World of Disney yesterday that all had 70% off the um, the lounge flies. If you want some downtime from the park, you can just come in here have into Videopolis. Uh, have a nap. Phone. Recharge your phone, yeah. Have a nap. Right, we're just having a little uh, coffee break. Um, brownie, a... Um, Little Mickey treat there. That looks very nice. That moves. Moose it and moosey. cake, yeah. And a, uh, a coffee. And we're in Videopolis just watching some things that's on the screens. The girls have just gone for a character meet. Yeah, they've gone meet to Mini. 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 Let me try this. Ooh. White chocolate. Oh. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh, which, oh, which like cheap, oh, goodness, cheap good. waxy chocolate. Oh, it's like moose and. Is it white chocolate? Yeah, it's beautiful and white chocolate. So it's half cake, half half mousse. I love that. Love it. I'm not a chocolate cake fan, but mm. I don't know if there were no else, but beautiful. how much was that? Um, well, I got Tracy a coffee. Where did you see them? There. Yeah. I got Tracy a coffee and Faith a drink and a brownie and a. Give us, your, give us the ear. Give me gigs. 16 euros, some up with annual pass. 16 euros, 66. And you got off uh, 2.94, 15%. I've got a confession to make and I feel really bad. I bought, I bought you that Mickey chocolate cake and I liked the look of it so much that I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and they've just gone and queued for it but the queue's too long so they can't wait. I hope you feel oh, guilty. Lee. Sorry. But thanks for thinking of us. Oh, I feel better <laughs> now. I feel better because they've got right, one of their she's own. Got a oh, she's cake. got a red, uh, a, a blue a, one. A blue um, yeah. castle top. Taste it, it's so, right, let so let good. Let me take Is that your first? <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty but it's a bit waxy. It's so light and... Yeah. Chocolatey and moussey. <laughs> no, it's actually it's only took good. a slither off rather it's than good. the ear off like she did this morning when the camera wasn't running. Right, we're heading across um, to Pirates and Indiana Jones. We think we've got time for those two before Pim's that. Kitchen. I'll do Pirates, but I'm not doing Indiana no, Jones. But we want to see what the rest of them want think their to reaction. It. Heading through Adventureland to get there. I'm not going to lie, I could eat Agrabah. Yeah, Agrabah's. I was just going to say, one of our favourite restaurants here, Agrabah's Cafe on the right. Always had good food. Such nice flavours and yeah. usual kind of non deep fried Tracy stuff. would love it there because yeah, she, she likes all that actually. kind of food. Just a 10 minute wait. There's a similar one in uh, California, but the water.
So the Pirates of Paris is better than Florida. Everybody knows that was written them both. So uh, yes, definitely better. Don't you agree? I love it. It's um, it's more vibrant, isn't it? I think, and it's double, it's a double little, drop as well. Double drop. Although the um, when we were going up the um, the ramp. To, to get up to the ride bit, which is high, at a high level. Oh yeah, they used like a misty thing and then they project a pirate on it that and that wasn't, wasn't working. But he was talking, but you couldn't see anything. Yeah. So hopefully now we have time for these guys to get on Indiana Jones. We're not going on it because we went on it once and we thought it was horrendous. Horrendous. Um, but these guys really want to try it and we're looking forward to seeing what they think to it. We told them it's brilliant. Can't tempt you. No thanks. Me neither. Vicky's done it once and she's going on it again though, so it might have just been us that didn't like it. Well, we went on in torrential rain and a, and a face mask as well, that didn't help. So, bye kids, enjoy. Bye. So yeah, if you want to see me and Nick after we've been on that ride, check out our first ever Disneyland Paris series uh, in September of one year. We went on that and we just weren't keen on it. We thought it was very, a bit rickety, a bit bone shaky, and the inversion is so tight for adults, you feel like, whoa, really uh, weird. So we vowed never to go on it again. That was nowhere near as bad as I remember. It Maybe we not, need to try it again. It wasn't no as chance. rickety at all. We no sat way. second row to the back. Let's see what Neil the loop was tight, but it wasn't it as shaky. Tight, it doesn't check you around as much as it did. That loop was tight, but here we go. Oh, you really enjoyed it, I can tell. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it's really it. good. Yeah, it's really good. You go on that again? Yeah. Oh, no. That's brilliant. I'd go on that again. No, it must be just the rain when we had it rain. No, it wasn't. It was the It was. I'm too tall, and the the the, the, the inversion is so tight that I'm, I can remember we've been pulled forward because I was too tall. It's because you are uh, small. That's why. Just on our way out of Main Street, and then my watch just told me I've hit 10,000 steps. So that's good. Told, my, my feet could have told you that. Now we're heading over to Walt Disney Studios for our Pims restaurant reservation. We've I'm never done Pims to before. Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. The only reservation I've got about my reservation at Pims is the fact that it's a buffet, and I know you what it's like. You stop yourself. Yeah, that's right. Because that's what happens at, at buffet restaurants. You just can't stop. Because you just think. I just want to try that, I want to try this, I want to try that. I'm just going to go back and have one more plate. Mm. And then you feel so stuffed that it kind of ruins the rest of the day. We'll find out whether that happens. place to get breakfast in there in Walt Disney Studios. And a good place to go. Around Derby. It's very warm in here actually. They've got the heaters pumping out. Lots of uh, fences up in here as what? well. It's mostly fences. Yeah. Look on the left. Yeah. Freaking hell, there's loads. I mean, there were, there were some last time we came, they were, they were doing this bit, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. It's good that they're, uh, you know, renovating things and uh, making things better. You can see all the cranes at the back where um, Frozen Land has been built. Look at the amount of tarmac on there. Looks like a UK road. Yeah. And then we are going left into Avengers Land for Pim's Kitchen. So the fencing uh, is all around this area at the moment. So I don't know what's going off back there. There we go, we can see it. Pim's Kitchen ahead. I'm quite hungry now. In fact, I'm very hungry. So it looks like you definitely need to make a reservation here because there's a right queue for it. We've got a reservation. This is the uh, queue if you've got a reservation. Uh, it's quite long, we've been waiting for about 10 minutes, so uh, we may go over our time, but obviously we're here. With a reservation. Yeah, and there's no queue without a reservation, so goodness knows how long that, that wait had been. Right, we're just waiting for our table. Right, so this is the table we've got. Um, they've just cost us seven, they've plonked one of us on the end, which is fine, but it'd be nice if they could have got another table, but it's fine. So we just ordered our drinks. You get one uh, soft drink in with the meal, and I just want to show you these: the test tube um, sauces. It looks like balsamic oil, salt, and pepper. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, just for Vicky, she's got a little coloring pad for her, um, her plate. If she's good, good, we'll ask for some crayons. If she's good, so the only menu that you get is the drinks menu because it's a buffet. Uh, so 
signature cocktails and drinks that you get in this restaurant only. And then you get a cold drink included with it. And then there's beers and wines and things like that. Right, Lee's been up there and got something. I'm not sure I like the look of that. Oh, so, I like the look of that slice of pork pie. We'll show you everything later once we've eaten. But for now, this is the one thing that I've been looking forward to. The giant crouton with a bit of bloom in it. And yeah, I could not resist the pork pie when I should have That's going to turn your poo oh, blue. Let me just try it. See if it just tastes like normal minutes. Maybe a little bit sweeter. Sweet. I want to see how hard. You don't have to bite the crouton. It's a proper crouton, a massive one. <laughs> yeah, I might have to pick that up and bite it. I'll try this uh, pot pie. I'm sorry, but that blue just looks wrong. It's covering everything on the plate now. Stay your tongue out. Pot pie. No, more. It's not too blue. Yeah, I thought pie. Right, I'm off for a look. Right. So these look like chicken nuggets. They're weird because they're like cheese, battered cheese balls. Ooh, I've not had a proper look around. I just want to salad. cauliflower. I want to try one of Black your uh, fries. Look at them fries. How thin they are. Oh my god, that is amazing, that. What are those? Cauliflower cheese. It's like a cauliflower cheese, but it tastes some barbecue crisps. And what else have you got? What's this? Um, it's like a uh, uh, flavoured pot. Mmm. Vicky's back. What's that? A um, hot dog. Hot dog. Cut up. What's all the stuff on the top? Onions. Onions. Rice. Yeah. Like Look, a jambalaya. Yeah. Yeah. The blue, wanted, um, the blue mayo is good. I wanted a burger, but they haven't got any yet, so... There's a lot of food, isn't there? Yeah. Loads of different choice. Right, I'll show you some of the salads. Ooh, what's that? Um, super hummus. Ooh, I might try that. So that's where you get the giant, um, crouton. So you don't fancy one, Nick? Oh, a I giant crouton, yeah, they're at the back. Oh, wait a minute. They look like those things from the Avengers, don't they? The, like uh, a bar cube? No, the, um, power sauce. Where's the blue shy? Over there, but there's all the, um... Sauces there as well, oils and stuff. If you want any of those, oh, there's bubbles, bubbles something in there. Balsamic and honey. Oh, no, basil and honey vinaigrette. Oh, I'll try that actually. Not that one. That's sesame and soya. Where's basil? Yeah. Basil and honey. Let's try this. They are a bit hard, those croutons, but they are very nice. I'm going like to put the blue sauce on. Uh, blue mayo. The blue mayo, yes. So, blue mayo and some fish things there. Ooh, that, that just looks like paint. It's like we're in B&Q, we're going to paint the wall in it. Spaghetti de lumes, vegetable yeah. noodles and sesame. That one? Yeah, it looks good. It, it says vinaigrette, but they're not very vinaigrette -y. Here's a giant pretzel, which you just uh, get a little bit of. Oh, bit oh look at this, what is bringing out? This is the hot dog, which oh, Vicky had. And then he just uh, cuts bits up and uh, you get bits of it. Some uh, venison steak. Green beans with crispy onions. What Ooh, what's that? Wheat, Wheat strips. strips and chickpeas. Oh, right. Did, so it's vegetarian. It vegetarian. It looks good. Let's try it. Um, prawn and coriander. Over here we have... That was amazing. Pork. I'm not surprised there's none left. It was like sliced pork with like a, a barbecue sauce on it. Plant-based crab food. Uh, crab cake. Rainbow, rainbow cauliflower. That's Fish. Fishy. Yeah. Lots of potatoes, crumble from vegetable, vegetable crumble. This is really the good. Jambalai. The jambalaya. Oh it's amazing. I don't want too much rice because it'll fill me up. No, but it is very I'll good. Have a little bit. And then a corn dog on the back and uh, beef and pork sausage. Well, I've got to try corn dog. Pasta station here, if you like your pasta. Very random that they have pork pies. In fact, it's rabbit and hazelnut pie. Ooh. Oh, you've eaten oh. rabbit. Oh, we've not just eaten that. Yeah. Oh my god. You've had rabbit and some more bits and bats, boson cheese, oh, dried awesome. ham, some little uh, random mousse chocolates and uh, things put in here along with other salad bits, little um, bits of wraps, the mini burgers here, there's just one left, I'll put the top on it, oh, oh, oh no I can't get it. There we go. You want it, Emma? You have it. Are you sure? Wait. wait for some fresh ones. And then the mini fries, which are very mini. I'll have a few of them. And Nick says those are amazing. Cheesy pasta gratin. Oh no, that's that one. Oh, it's barbecue breaded cauliflower. 
Let's try some of that. Giant croutons, they're a bit hard, aren't they? Careful of your teeth. Bring it out. Nice? Yeah! Well, he's just trying a corn dog. I didn't like it. But it tasted, we never had one before, have we? It tastes as a barbecue. But it's really, really fatty. Like quite oily and very heavy feeling, you know what I mean? I'm not a fan. No, it's all right, but I wasn't choosing it. Vicky would like to try one, but that was last. Yeah, Vicky, you know. We're on to the desserts. Yes. I've actually finished my desserts. I had pretty much everything. You wanted one of them? I wanted one. I've actually finished, but I wanted one of these bring, uh, bringing back. Vicky's just had one. It's um, it's like a Nestle white, white chocolate, chocolate mousse. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm full, but I'm just going to try this. There's a dark chocolate one as well, and a hazelnut one as well. Right, you try and let me know what you think. And a mini uh, cheesecake with the. Uh, I saw is them, that, but. Ant Man, uh, I'm not sure. Well, while he's wavelling that around, I'm going to try this. Oh my god. White chocolate. Oh! It's like Blint chocolate, a Nestle Milky Bar, whipped up with whipped cream and squirted into a jar. So Absolutely fair. delicious. I'm say I'm really impressed with this place. Me too, actually. Mm. You got enough there, Emma? This is me, gonna be my third piece. You know what I'd excuse what? It was stuck together. It was stuck together. Well, you know that little thing that's inside of it, like a cake cutter, that's for separating it. Too late now, I'm gonna have to eat it. Well, you can, you have to and now. And the chocolate hazelnut mousse, amazing. With them, is that M&M's or is it M or Smarties? Or Smarties. Oh. I want some cream or custard, that's like a pear crumble. Oh my God, get the white chocolate mousse and put it on it. So I'll show you guys around the dessert. So this is the um, the soft serve machine. So you put a little bowl in and push a button, and it, it does the the whirly thing. Um, as you can see, one there, somebody's left it. But it's it's vanilla, but it's not vanilla. It's like birthday cake flavor. It's absolutely delicious. And then on the other side over here, uh, you've got some jellies and things like that up there, and some fruit. But here. There's not much left in terms of desserts. People's been kind of demolishing it. That's what um, Emma just got a piece of. It's like a donut cake, um, little mini cheesecakes, Oreo cake, red velvet, um, some kind of citrus cake there, chocolate cake, or what's left of one. And then over here, I would show you, but somebody's um, scoffed it all. It's like wasp cell, it's like a lemon cheese. No, it's not, it's like a lemon curd, but it's got um, like a cream on top with honey. It's very nice. And then you've got uh, lemon and lime meringues, raspberry meringues. Oh, that is what I wanted for my ice cream. That's where it is. I've seen people walking around with it. So that's the sauce for the ice cream. You've got cake, fruit, not sure what they are. Um, some peach crumble or pear crumble, little carrot cakes up there. And then on this section, you've got like cheeses. Um, not sure what this is. It says that it's a mint mint cheese or mini cheese but i don't know what this black one is here uh, that is extremely spicy so if you do have that be careful so i wasn't looking forward to coming here because it was a buffet and i thought i might not be able to resist but i, I felt like i've controlled myself maybe i've had two plates of savouries and i've tried a little bit of everything that i, that I wanted there's so much more that i didn't try but I, I felt like the best thing that i had was the ice cream the, it was um, it was like birthday cake flavour and the chocolate mousse as well, that was nice. But it was a lot better than what I expected it was going to be. I loved it. I thought it was a very good value. And I'm just, they had so much choice. If you'd like fancier food, there's a bit of fancy-ish. If you like, like burgers and... There's something for everybody. And, and pork pie, although it was rabbit pie. Rabbit and and uh, a few Doritos, I loved the Doritos as well. But I, I loved it all, I thought it was really good. I like the uh, Ant-Man artwork all along uh, the walls in this restaurant. Very impressed with that. Right, um, that was very nice that. Definitely recommend that and I would definitely go back there again. Um, Far better than that Rosa thing. Rosalie. Um, if you are coming in the winter months, um, make sure you book early because it's, what time is it now? About four o'clock? Four o'clock. And it's closing. I think they always close at that. Even when so we came in September, the time. there was like five o'clock was the yeah. last city. So uh, we are now going to go on Web Slingers because the single rider time is only five minutes. So we're going to go single rider. So we can't, or because there's seven of us in total, we can't use Fate's um, uh, access, accessibility yeah. pass. So we're going to go single rider and they're going to go through the, the Premier Access queue. Yeah. So we'll meet them when we get off. 
and the wait time is actually only 30 minutes. That's very low for uh, Spider-Man. But uh, let's see if this actually takes us five minutes and let's see if we get on right. together. You never know. Shall I do, shall see I do a mile. Disney Wives thing and start before? Yeah, go on then. We'll do a, a Disney Wives and start timing uh, how long it takes. So uh, five minutes, let's go. Yes. Yes, thank you. Have fun. Have fun. Two minutes seventeen at the moment, and we are actually look like we're getting close to the front. Yeah. Right, we've just been called through. What time are we on? We are on seven minutes forty-two. Not too bad so far. Which is sent a different way to the last. Yeah. So we bypassed the show where Peter Parker tells you all about the ride. That's why we went a different way. We just bypassed the show. We're just about to get on now when it becomes a single rider available. So we're very close to the front now, and the guys are even on. Yeah. It would be hilarious if we get on up and put back into their group, wouldn't it? There they go. Attention la marche. Utilisez tout. Attention la marche. Utilisez tout. We got the same car. Your same carriage, but I'll be on the back of the side. Yeah. But we're going to ride together. Vision targeting glasses. They'll help you find all those rampant spider bots. Seven thousand I got on that, which I don't think was too bad because I was doing it one-handed. So, uh, what did you get, Emma? Uh, about two hundred and seventy-two thousand, I think it was. Not bad at all. Not for a first effort. Yeah. I don't know my score. It was rubbish. She so was, I was only doing vlogging. Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. I've got such arm ache. I'm arm hurting. Ache. Yeah. Arm ache. I'm hurting. I can't shift. Oh. I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah. Are that is ridiculous. I had a no. workout. We're now. Are you off a flight pass? We're calling it a day sure. now. Yeah. You're what are we? You're not we're sure. We're done for now. Yeah, we're done for now. We're done for day. Oh, you wusses. Right. We're going to have to get the bus back while the rest continue. Uh, we are going uh, to get the bus and then I'm going to do a bit of editing. Nick's going to do a bit of chilling and then we're going to enjoy some of the hotel. Go down to the bar, have a chill. Possibly the hot tub. Possibly the hot Maybe there's any kids in it. Hello. It is nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at night. We came back. When, what time? Uh, four o'clock. It was still light. No, Half four, something like that. Um, I've had a bath um, because my back has been killing me from carrying that bag yesterday, and just the whole being on my feet all day. Um, and I'm starving. I think. Why do we feel like we're sunburnt? Because the the temperature in this room is beyond hot. 
we've got every fan on and we've got every window open and it's still baking hot. Um, Neil and Tracy are back. We think that Vicky and Emma are still on Main Street waiting to be kicked out of the park because they're sending pictures of like the entire park empty and them laid on the train tracks. So God knows what they're doing. So we're going to go down. We may be ordering... What are you doing with my phone? It's my phone. Oh. Um, we may be ordering a pizza delivered to the hotel unless we can get a pizza from the hotel. So we're going to go down and we're going to find out. So we're just going to have a little drink first of all in the lounge area here. We've just got some chips and nuggets from the um, hotel and uh, there is a story. We ordered Uber Eats and they brought the wrong pizza so she took it back and she's not arrived back. Story over, quickly. <laughs> so we've all got chicken nuggets and chips and um, we're still waiting on Uber replying with our pizza. I just want money back and shove the pizza up their ass. Right, we're going to end the day. We're going to end the vlog. I'm so tired. I actually yeah, feel like now. I've got an eight hour, a five hour jet lag still. It's because we've had another busy day. So oh. thanks, thanks for watching our day in Disneyland Paris. Tomorrow we are heading to Walt Disney Studios to do a few rides there. Um, we've got no more um, dining, plans. dining plans. We're just going to wing it from now on. We want um, the shawarma. Well, we want snacks. Shawarma like pitta from the Super Diner in uh, Avengers yeah. Campus. So that'll be the next video. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And uh, join us on the next video when we're in Walt Disney Studios. Right now, we're going to flake out on the bed. Bye. Bye.